In this episode, we discovered Denmark has removed all free rest areas, but we managed to find a sneaky free camp. This is Turtle Tracks Travels with Gary and Denise. Welcome back to a new episode. Uh, we are now moved along the coast of Denmark, not very far, about 50 no. k's, wasn't it? From... So Oh, so we're exhausted. Oh, absolutely after exhausted. That long drive. Such a long drive, yeah. <laughs> anyway, here we're having a bit of lunch. Denise has just done a, oh, a nice cheese salad there. Salad. Me a couple of wraps, our coffee cups, two seats, not too bad, and this view. And this is Denmark Ocean Beach. Not bad at all. And then where are we going after this little niece? Well, we're not going to stay in. Oh, are you on me? Oh, yeah, you are. I'm on you. I'm on you. <laughs> we're not going to stay in Denmark because it's just like a big four, and there's not a lot of options. And we try to avoid them places. So we're just going to have a look, go around to what they call the green pools. Hopefully, have a swim if it's nice. And but, we're going to uh, try that, aren't we? Yeah. Sometimes you stop at these places, have your lunch. Yeah. Chill out. Put it half an hour, and then we'll yeah. cruise onto these pools and go for a swim, eh? Sounds magic, doesn't it? Sound good. Let's do it. What's Nisi doing? Catching up on socials while we're um, filling the water tanks. You've got to do this when you can. That's like it. Gary's driving them on there, quickly catching up with people, and because we love it, we've built up this lovely community now on our Facebook page and also our new Facebook group. So um, yeah, it's lovely to connect with different people and we're trying to connect with people from around the globe, not just in Australia. So uh, yeah. What's the name of your new Facebook page? Oh, it's <laughs> Caravanning, Camping, Hiking and Overlanding. So it covers everything and it doesn't matter what you're traveling in. If you're in a caravan, rooftop tent, a swag, or you're just backpacking, hiking around the globe. It's for all, Australia, isn't it? For it's, everyone. For all of those things, because that's what we're going to be doing eventually. And that's what we love, isn't it? There could be something coming up next year in the pipeline that we're going to travel across the globe. That's it. And this is our setup for filling up water. So we connect it to the water there. And then we've got our pre filter. We always filter our water into our tanks so it's all drinkable at any one time. And there's my hose. Only a cheap one from Bunnings. 10 meters, that's usually enough. I've got another spare. I can make it actually longer than that, but we don't need it most of the time. It comes over here and fill up our water tanks. And on board, we've got 280 liters, so it gives 160 liters. And then on the 79, we have a 40 liter one underneath there as well. So that takes up to 200. And then I have uh, two 20 liter jerry cans. So it gives us 240 litres of water we can carry at any one time if, if we need to, but we try not to travel too far with the uh, tanks full. Um, try and leave a little bit in the cruiser and we obviously um, leave a little bit in the van, but not too much, usually 25% in each tank. Sometimes it's a little bit more. Um, and then we just top up and we, we know where the nearest town is and go from there. It usually works. So um, we're off to a national park in a minute. Um, to go and find these water holes. So we thought, well, we better top up. Just in case when we come out of there, we find a little free stuff on the side of the road and, and go with that. So, uh, yeah, watch your space. We could be in a free stop tonight, but we like free stops. Hang about, see if I can, see if I can frighten these with a camera. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Still catching up, there's this, um, couple that have uh, just put a post on our group that they're in their full wheel driving or backpacking or something across uh, Iceland. Yeah, so, well that's cool isn't it? Like yeah, trying to connect with different people. So we're connecting with people across the globe yeah. and that's the whole idea isn't it? Ready for next year. Yeah, for our big trip. Yeah. So this is just a, this is just a pre-trip <laughs> and the bigger trip. The trip and the trip. Yeah, we love trips don't we? Yeah. <laughs> we love travelling. So we've driven along to Green Pools and in the same bit there's Elephant Rocks and we come up to the viewpoint and it looks stunning. So we're going to go down for a swim in a minute, yeah. aren't we? It's a really popular obviously place to come but some people are starting to go now because it's late afternoon. So, so you might even get it to yourself in a minute. Yeah, you never know, you luck. Let's have a look. 
Let's go, guys. Let's go do it. Oh, come on then. <laughs> you're, you're, you're twisting my arm. I didn't want to go down there, but now you oh, said. Oh, come on. You know I want to go. go. Come on then. Let's go. <laughs> Elephant rock. <laughs> Oh, Not bad, is it? The color of the water is just amazing. Lovely, isn't it? It's so cool. Yeah. That's actually a nice temperature, isn't it? Oh, beautiful. Mm. Oh, it's lovely when the sun comes back out. Must admit, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, amazing. Walking around the under greens pools. <laughs> Video bomber. Video bomber. Beautiful, isn't it? What a beautiful spot. Lovely jubbly. Funny love is. Well, we went to um, Elephant Rock and was it green pools wasn't it green pools uh, to have a lovely swim which was very very nice and we we're just going to free camp um in one of the rest areas because it says on the government website that you can stay for mm. 24 hours but when mm -hmm. we got there what happened the greedy denmark council or the caravan parks have put signs up saying you can't mm. so they're supposed to be designated places to rest because we wasn't going to go in a caravan park because we just wanted to see what we saw do a rest and then move on tomorrow to do valley uh, the treetop walk treetop walk yeah. but obviously they've been greedy so we had to keep driving and driving then we thought oh we'll go to parry's beach it's uh, 20 bucks a night and it's not too bad but there's a height restriction so we measured the caravan and we with the air con we too we high yeah. so we can't get in there so we managed to find there's no signs for this it's a, a gravel pit it's just off the road we can't, it's not on wiki camps, I just happened to look and see the track coming in and there's this massive area and I reckon the council have taken it off wiki camps. Um, well, guess what? So we won't say where it is because We're tell you <laughs> if we do and someone puts it on wiki camps then obviously it's going to highlight it and then they'll put signs. Then the council will come put a sign in, you won't be able to stop it. Yeah. So, so you might just find this yourself, eh? If you find it, stumble across it. Good on you. Obviously it's a massive area. But um, if we put it on wiki camps or say anything, it'll be shut and you won't be able to come and stay here anyway. We'll, we'll probably have all this to ourselves because no one knows it's here. Yeah. See, what the council got to realise is there is only a couple of caravan parks anyway. There's a big four and there's yeah, another one. And if they're full, they, I mean, there was a hell of a lot of people down at that greens... Um, Pools. pools if they're full where are we actually supposed to go then caravan so, park yeah but if they're full there's only oh, a, yeah. there's, there's only a couple and then I we know. can't go to Paris because there's a height restriction um a lot of the national parks around here haven't got campsites so where are you supposed to go i don't care because i've found somewhere for yeah, it we found somewhere so we're happy <laughs> so happy days isn't it happy days and, yeah, we, hey. and we haven't spent a dime in denmark so they do it to themselves good so they can suffer <laughs> big time Morning. Morning. So uh, we had a lovely peaceful night at that secret free stop that we found and we got up early and we've come to the Valley of the Giants to do the treetop walk and we just parked on the road because you can't get in until they open. There's a big gate and it's um, I think it's free entry but if you want to do the treetop walk it's $21 each or concession, I think it's 15. Hmm. So you never know. You, you look. Uh, Shut like up. You know. <laughs> it's like you're pissing, yeah? yeah, as always. <laughs> so th this is the entrance. Big, extreme. bit extreme for a national park to have those huge gates. Why you can't just get in and park in the car park ready, I don't know. But I got through the gates, down the road, I could see a quarker sign. We thought there was only on Rottnest Island, but they must be here as well, so I'm really excited. Yeah, so we really want to see them, don't we? We want to see them, but prob you probably won't. That'd be too frightening. Yeah, they'd be in the bush, but you never know. Fingers, you never know. Might be some um, tame ones, aren't they? Yeah. By the interest. That'd something. be so cute, wouldn't it? Yeah, good. I like that. Mm. 
Here we are, starting the treetop walk. This looks cold, doesn't it? Though? Yeah, it does look cold. Oh. High up. Very high up. It's cold, isn't it? They are big trees. <laughs> Look at the size of them. Yeah. Where's the quarkers? Not up here. Bouncing. Oh. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? It's a big tree, isn't it? Yeah, it does feel funny. <laughs> bouncy, oh. bouncy, get out of it. Get of <laughs> nice, isn't it? Yeah, so cool. Brilliant. Yeah. Besides these trees, they're yes. actually unbelievable, aren't they? I think some of these trees are over 300 years old. You can see they probably are, they're huge. I mean, God, that's taking some time to grow like that. Absolutely brilliant. So. You're roughly in the same. You're roughly in the same age bracket as these trees. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a bloody flip, fat lip in a minute. Keep it up. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Jesus, look at that. Oh, massive trees. Massive. 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 This one's growing across. Look. Look at that. Oh, that makes you. Feel that make you feel funny? No? No. <laughs> Much feel giddy. Hey! <laughs> you can see how high we are. Oh, big drop. Big drop. Right don't come here. Don't drop your mobile phone. I won't, you got it. <laughs> it's a tingle tree. <laughs> <laughs> them, have you? Tingle tree? Yeah. No, tingle tree. Oh, tingles. Tingles? Never heard of them. They're nice big trees, though, aren't they? Yeah. Huge. If you're wondering what the grinding noise is going on in the background, no, we're not chopping down trees. They're doing a bit of work here, a bit of maintenance and stuff at the moment. So. <laughs> get in there, get in there. You can live in there. <laughs> it's going out in the middle, isn't it? That's amazing, it's still standing. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notifications bell and follow our adventures around the globe.